Uh, Ms. Green, if somebody tried to unlawfully interfere with the process of counting the electoral votes, unlawfully, that person would be an enemy of the Constitution. Wouldn't you agree? Does it define that way? Does it define that way? Indeed, that's Marjorie Green, who's been testifying throughout today in an attempt, a legal attempt to stop her from running for reelection, arguing that under one of the provisions of the Constitution, because in the words of those uh, you know, beginning this legal effort, she gave aid and comfort to the insurrectionists, she became an enemy of the United States government, that she should be barred from running for office. And a lot of the testimony went just like you saw there. Uh, attempts to pin her down or question her about particular things that she said and did in the run up to the insurrection, that she would answer with a blank stare that I bought 100%. I don't think it was an act. I think there was nothing underneath her, her stare there. Um, but saying that she didn't remember what she said or she doesn't understand what tweets mean or she can't be held responsible for her social media activity because anyone could have liked posts calling for the execution of Nancy Pelosi. So we're gonna give you a little bit more, try to get an idea of how successful the lawyer might have been at pinning her down. Here's a little bit about whether the January 6th rioters should be considered enemies of the state. So if someone broke the law in an effort to interfere with the counting of the electoral votes, that person would be an enemy of the Constitution. Am I right about that? Breaking the law is unlawful. There's been over 700 people charged for what happened on January 6th. Right, and those people were trying to interfere with the lawful process of counting the votes for the Electoral College, right? I, I I would assume, yes, they, they did. They stopped okay. the electoral count, yes. Right, and so those people would be enemies of the Constitution. You would agree with that, right? I don't know if it, I don't know. I think that that's honest, that's genuine. I think there's a lot of things that she doesn't know and they were very much on display. She was trying not to get pinned down. Like she she knew enough to know that. She's obviously not a quick thinker. She's not a particularly like witty person, quick person, anything like that. Um, but I, as I was watching that, my thought process was, if you are trying to make the case that she should not be able to run for office, I would dispense with any of the attempts to get her to be an active part of making that case. Present the evidence and we're gonna give you some of it. The things that she said, the times that she's called for political violence, that is either going to convince the courtroom or it's not. I, I wouldn't have tried to get her to define herself into being an enemy of the Constitution. And I've been pretty clear in my previous coverage of this on the damage report that I'm a little bit dubious about this entire case anyway. And we have more video, but that said, I'm curious what both of you think about this. Yeah, I share your slight skepticism, John, or maybe significant. Uh, so I think that it, saying that just she should not be able to run is gonna feed into the usual martyrdom of, of the of the right wing, right? Like, oh my God, cancel culture, etc. Right? Uh, now, but I ask the Democrats to act tough, prosecutors to act tough all the time. So the answer is either apply it equally to everyone who supported the insurrection, or don't. But when you pick out one person, you're not helping the overall cause. It sounds like it looks like you're targeting her because you don't like her, as opposed to being principled against everyone that supported the insurrection, right? So, and I know it's different jurisdictions, and so that makes it much more complicated and harder. But you know, it, it creates an issue. Did she actively support it? Of course. And you know, do you think that that means she should be barred from running for office? Well, I think you could make that case, but again, you'd have to make it uniformly for everyone who did. She's giving the same kind of answers that she gives on like Fox or Newsmax, right? Like dancing around the truth, but she's under oath here. Like she has to answer the questions truthfully by law and by her not doing that. She's making herself look really silly. She's like, I don't know, what does the constitution say? Why don't you tell me? And she looks ridiculous, but I think you're right, John, that she's probably not going to give a straightforward answer and incriminate herself on the stand. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't expect it. Um, and look, when I say that I'm, I've been uneasy about this, it's, it's not, it's, I'm not even really making a case that I think that you couldn't make the case under the Constitution. Um, I think that in theory you could. To me, 
I, I share some of the same concerns with Jenk about applying it evenly. Now, look, the, the organization and, and one of the lawyers backing this is with Free Speech for People. Like, you know, it, it is perhaps they're doing this to set a precedent. There's also a similar case that hasn't gone as far so far against Madison Cawthorn because different judges have adjudicated it. Maybe they're just trying to set up a precedent that could then be applied to other people. For me, my preference would be um, she should be unacceptable as an elected official to a broad base of people. She should never have been elected in the first place. We already knew more than we needed to know before she was first elected. You don't even need all this stuff about what she did about the insurrection. Like she's, she should be unacceptable to the voters. And if not to the voters, then to her party. They should have cast her out any number of times for what she did. This feels, it feels almost like a cheat to me. And I'm not making a constitutional case here. I'm not saying that that the constitution the constitutional provisions about insurrection shouldn't apply in this case it to me it shouldn't be this way she should have been weeded out at multiple other steps she never should have won the republican primary for that seat let alone a general election even in a red district we should be better than this the republican party should be better than this nobody is apparently better than this but i just this isn't this isn't the way i would want it to go down yeah, I mean, there's a great I, irony that John is alluding to here. I really want to get to the other clips, but uh, which is that the Republicans are voting for people in favor of ending democracy. So, how, what do you do when a democracy votes to kill itself? I don't know, and that's kind of where we are. Yeah, exactly that. That's exactly what I was going to say. We've got these people attending the trial who are supporters of Marjorie Taylor Greene saying stuff like, I don't like them trying to keep her off the ballot as if they care about the sanctity of elections. Why are we having this trial at all? Because she posted things on Facebook like you can't allow a just transfer of power peacefully like Joe Biden wants and allow him to become our president because he didn't win this election and stolen. And so yeah, I think like potentially the insurrectionist disqualification clause of the Constitution applies here. But yeah, I agree with John that it's disgusting that we have to prosecute it in a court of law and that she's a viable candidate without that. Exactly, yeah, my, my I, it's not a solution. And it's not, by the way, I'm not saying any of this because I don't think that she is a grave threat. I think that when it comes down to even more political violence than we've already seen, because we've already crossed that bridge several times, I think she's gonna be perfectly happy. The woman who poses and adds with an assault rifle next to women of color in politics is perfectly fine for triggers to start being pulled. That said, like I think the answer is more democracy. I think the Democrats should get off their ass and actually pass a bill that'll make it easier for people's voices to be heard, to stop the gerrymandering, to stop the voter suppression, all of this. But they're not doing anything. They're just sitting by and watching this happen. But that said, we do have more video. So um, let's get to uh, her quibbling over the word peaceful in this. In your tweet, you mentioned earlier that um, your words, join hashtag March for Trump in DC on January 6th to fight for Trump, that you were urging people to come to Washington for a peaceful demonstration, right? Peaceful demonstration, right. absolutely. Yeah, that word peaceful is nowhere in this tweet, right? Have a look. That word peaceful is I not can't in this tweet. There's only half of it there. Let's, let's get, give the representative a paper copy of that one. I just want to make sure I'm no, not I missing. I can see it now. It was scrolled up just a second ago. Okay, Pe- peaceful's not in there, is it? Um. Well, you know, like. Is the word peaceful in there, Miss Green? It does not say peaceful. That's right my there. question. But Thank you're you. asking me, and I said for peaceful demonstration, just like people have the right to do in their First Amendment. I, I'm asking. You didn't, there's not a secret code in there that's supposed to be peaceful, right? Well, I never mean anything for violence. Yeah, look, we know that that is obviously not the case. I mean, not only are the videos that I believe Jessica alluded to earlier, where she on video said Joe Biden wants a peaceful transfer of power and we can't allow that. That's fairly clear. Or even outside of the context of the debate over the results of the election, she was speaking with Chris Dore, a gun rights guy, and says that the Democrats are gonna steal your guns. This is an interview from a while back. She said, the only way you get your freedoms back is it's earned with the price of blood. 
Like she has repeatedly, she liked the tweet calling for someone to put a bullet in Nancy Pelosi's skull. She has often called for that. I would say there's many pieces of evidence that can and should be used. I found that one, the absence of the word peaceful, a lot less effective than some of the times where she was very clear that she wants people to fight or not to allow a peaceful transfer of power. I think that's a little bit stronger and hopefully the judge paid attention to that. Yeah, I didn't find that portion particularly compelling. You write a thousand tweets without the word peaceful in it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, but yes, the ones where she actually says, "Oh, I like the idea of murdering the Speaker of the House," that seems to be more compelling. Yeah, I'm gonna, for my point, uh, end on a member here and tyt.com/join to be part of the show. And 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 we love the points that you guys make. Chicago and I uh, wrote in, uh, "Why hasn't she been censured if not removed from Congress?" Well, actually. Um, on January 6th, Cory Bush introduced legislation to remove or to not seat all the Republicans that objected to the election. The logic was, well, you guys said the election wasn't fair, so why would we seat you? But you because you're telling us, no, 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 our election was fraudulent. Okay, then you're we're not gonna seat you. Yeah. And of course, it was like, oh, people loved it. Democrat, the Democratic voters loved it. The media covered it. It was really well received. It was a great idea by Cory Bush, and uh, and then Democratic leadership was like, oh, let's just drop it. And they're just hopeless. They're just hopeless and feckless. So this will be another thing, and the Republicans will spin it to their advantage. The Democrats will do nothing. She'll be on the ballot. She'll win easily, and mm -hmm. and it'll only add to her fame uh, because. It, the opposition here is just the most impotent thing you have ever seen. Yeah, I think the precedent setting facet of this trial is really interesting, right? It's the first time a member of the GOP is testifying about what happened on January 6th. Yeah. And I think we should understand it and keep our eyes on it with all of this context as well. But I have this fear that it, it could be the also the last member of the GOP to testify about January 6th. Um, but we'll see what happens. No, look, you're forcing me to say one last thing. The <laughs> Democrats are doing a January 6th commission. Oh, all of Washington is a flutter over it. It hasn't done a damn thing. Oh, a little bit here, a little bit. Oh, one day, 17 years from now, we might get Trump to testify about something, maybe a civil proceeding. Okay, no, when somebody defies your subpoena to testify, you put them in jail instantly within the hour. Okay, have the police ready when you send the subpoena or whatever the the you know the time restriction is on when to re reply okay mm -hmm. put them in jail keep them in jail for for a long time well, if you have if you think they actually did things that are criminal like Donald Trump it's half a dozen very clear crimes then you must prosecute them if you don't prosecute them it's a giant glaring green light it's okay you can break the law anytime you want you can go forward yep. so that's why there's a little bit of it at at least some you know Feeling of hey, at least somebody's been made to ask a answer a question, a legitimate question. So there is something very positive in the proceedings in that sense. But I'm afraid Jessica's right that it'll probably be the last time you get any kind of accountability because the Democrats are historically preposterously weak. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.